गुड मॉर्निंग सर हैव अ सीट सॉरी आई एम सॉरी ओके बेटा इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ फर्स्ट माय नेम इज सजादी हफनोन आई बिलोंग टू बांडीपुरा Uh, I have completed my B.Tech in Electronics and Communication from Kashmir University, and after and currently I'm pursuing uh, M.A. Sociology from IGNO, and at the same time I'm also preparing for J.K. P.Sc. Mains this year. Okay. Sir, can I take my mask off? Yes, yes, you can take to feel comfortable. Yes, <coughs> we can understand. That's why we have also to put. No, I'm comfortable. Yes. आप मुझे बेटा ये बता दीजिए जो पॉलिटिकल सिस्टम होते हैं ना इंडिया में वी हैव गॉट पार्लियामेंट्री फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट इन इंडिया इज इट गुड टू हैव पार्लियामेंट्री फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट और प्रेसिडेंशियल फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट मेरिट्स एंड डिमेरिट्स ऑफ बोथ यस सर सर द डिबेट बिटवीन पार्लियामेंट्री सिस्टम एंड प्रेजिडेंशियल सिस्टम इट डेट्स बैक टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट असेंबली डिबेट्स आई मीन देर वॉज अ स्कूल ऑफ थाट दैट थाट इंडिया वुड बी बेस्ट गवर्नमेंट इफ यू गो फॉर द प्रेजिडेंशियल सिस्टम बट अल्टीमेटली we went for parliamentary system of governance because if we look at the way indian polity has evolved i mean we are a civilizational state india has evolved since the 5000 years of history we have got mm-hmm. so it was believed by our constitution makers that given the diversity of views and political opinions that we have in our country we would be best governed by the parliamentary form of government because at that time there were uh we, we are looking at this situation in the backdrop backdrop of partition there was at the same time communal rights were going on we had a fractured polity at that time so it was thought that to accommodate multiple and uh, views multiple opinions and multiple shades of opinion india would be best governed by parliamentary form of what are the government what are the merits of presidential form of government come uh, to the point when merits of presidential form are there is certainty in policy making i mean uh it's not it's immune to political pressures i mean if we look at the farm bill right now uh, we are discussing farm, farm farm issues right government had to repeal the farm bill, bills because it was believed by a section of population that it's not in the best interest of farmers but we have been reading since years that farm uh, uh, we need uh, these farm reforms are are required but at the time when government went for actually went for the, for these farm reforms there was a backlash so okay. uh, but these problems are not with the pres- uh, presidential form of government and at the same time another merit that comes up with presidential form of government is uh, here there uh, uh, there's scope for specialization I right, mean, right. In okay, US, okay. we have got. I got it. I got it. it. You have now hit the nail on its head. <laughs> Thank you. Sir. You tell me regarding this thing, the uh, so-called vision. There is a vision of this J and K Cooperative Department. What is the vision? So, a vision of Cooperative Department is to develop cooperatives as a voluntary association of people in a democratic spirit. I mean, I am. Um, main thrust is that they should be voluntary association association of people and they should have a democratic spirit and democratic way of way of functioning sajad sahab aap mujhe ek baat bolo ye jo assistant registrar post hai guest post hai yes sir isme agar salary aapko 10000 rupaye milti hai will you still continue sir i believe uh, i believe in living in present mm-hmm. so अगर आपको कम सैलरी भी मिले विल यू स्टिल कंटिन्यू कंटिन्यू इट और इवन माय मोटिवेशन हैज ऑलवेज बीन टू वर्क एट द ग्रास रूट लेवल सो दिस वाज द प्राइम रीजन दैट आई स्टार्टेड प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सिविल सर्विसेज राइट आफ्टर माय कॉलेज सो बट अनफॉर्चूनेटली आई कुडंट गेट थ्रू आई आई रोड टू यूपीएससी प्रीलिम्स आई आई कुडंट गेट थ्रू इट बट देन आई ट्राइड फॉर जेके पी एस सी रजिस्ट्रार कोऑपरेटिव के फंक्शन बता दीजिए रजिस्ट्रार कोऑपरेटिव सर रजिस्ट्रार कोऑपरेटिव के फंक्शन हैं नंबर वन इट्स अ सुपरवाइजरी सुपरवाइजरी रोल्स होते हैं इनके दे हैव टू एंश्योर दैट द कोऑपरेटिव दैट आर देयर इन आर स्टेट इन वेरियस डिस्ट्रिक्ट स्प्रेड अक्रॉस वेरियस डिस्ट्रिक्ट आर रनिंग एज पर the as per the law as they are democratically functioning at the same time they are following all the statutes and bylaws that are there okay sir 
Så. Assistant registrar cooperatives. So, uh, assistant registrar cooperatives looks after cooperatives, uh, cooperatives at block level. Uh, at district level, we have deputy registrar cooperatives, and at block level, uh, I mean the idea uh, when we started this co this cooperative movement, idea was to have these democratically running institutions at the grassroots. So, idea was to have this su su supervision of uh, supervision, and at the same time facilitate the movement right from grassroots to the top. So. Assistant Registrar Cooperatives looks at uh, the functioning of cooperatives at the block level. Who is President Registrar of this city? President Registrar. Sir, uh, Iqbal Sahab. Okay. Yes. Suppose there is a corruption in the system. You are appointed as Assistant Registrar, there is a corruption like a start rule. And there is a deputism. This is a thing. How oh, you look corrupt at? Uh, corruption, sir, in... Uh, Grassroot level? In my subordinates. Uh -huh. So there are uh, various ways uh, in which we can tackle this problem of corruption. First, it's not restricted to just cooperative department, it's pervasive. But if, if I come across such instances wherein uh, my subordinates are, uh, under, uh, are doing corruption and all, first I have to live by my example. First, I should be honest and then I can expect them to fo follow the lead. But at the same time, we should have zero tolerance policy towards co uh, corruption. We should have such internal mechanisms that uh, we should have transparent inquiry. If at all there is any suspicion, even if there is suspicion, we can give the uh, accused officer a chance to present himself. But at the same time, there should be uh, there should be transparent inquiry into the process. If there is corruption, then very well, law can take its very course. But corruption should not be tolerated at, at any level. So I'll go for inquiry. If it's my subordinate. Yes. Yes. Recently, national awards were announced by Loma Tamil. Right? Babu Ram, I yes, Babu Ram, post must be Kya award mila. Babu Ram. Sir, I'm sorry, I'm not aware of it. Daniel Abidin, what's the name of Sheikh Nuruddin Nurani. I'm not sure, sir, but I think it's Sheikh Nuruddin Nurani. Not enough. Sheikh Nuruddin Nurani, what's the name of Sheikh Nuruddin Nurani? Sir, Shari Shari. Shari I'm sorry, I'm not sir, very aware of it. Very much aware of it. Yeah, economic equity is subsidy. First, first grade, grade number one for which economic industry is? Economic industry, sir. Kashmir, mein, sir, it's uh, tourism. It is first or second? I think, sir, it should be first. Sorry, sir. Pali industry is which uh, First industry. First industry. Sir, here, Around 1958, the first milk cooperatives were here. The silk factory was here. Oh, sorry, sir. Silk factory, yes. Sounds. The first thing here is industry and agriculture. Followed by tourism. They are the main source of economic activity. ये जो जहलम है ये कहां से ऑरिजिनेट होता है सर वेरी नाग व्हाई इट एंड अह व्हिच वेटस जहलम एंड सर ये बारामुल्ला साइड से जाके आगे फिर इट मर्ज विद पाकिस्तान वहां वहां तक जाता है सर यस सर ओके सर जा you just mentioned farm bills in your answer. So yes. can you tell me what, what was the controversy all about? So controversy, main controversy was uh, there was this provision about contract farming that if there is dispute between uh, uh, a company, a contracting company and a uh, and a and, and a and a farm, a farm, a farm say farmer co cooperative or some far, between farmers. So in that uh, there was this provision that it would be decided at the district level by the district magistrate. 
so people uh, thought that was the main issue no that was that was one of the issues but it was uh, it was uh, it was an issue which raised some suspicions because people what are the other issues other issues were uh, in punjab and other places we have uh, there are these traditional institutions who used to provide loans to these farmers agrahi agra hiras we used to call them in and they and they, they called uh, them in their parlance so it was thought it was th- thought that uh, uh, they had this traditional role of providing them credit and all but with this they uh, they believed that uh, their hold over these uh, farmers would dilute i mean what the, was the issue of msp msp and uh, they are demanding that msp should uh, should be uh, sh- they should be given msp as per market rates because they thought current currently msp is given uh, like a2 plus fl i don't know exactly the formula but uh, they are demanding that they should be given msp as per the market r- uh, rate not the formula they they, ha- they want the swaminathan committee recommendation they want them to be uh, did, did, did you support the protests so pro- it's a very uh, tricky thing i mean as long as protests are uh, democratic as long as they are non violent were they democratic so i as, there were certain elements uh, that tended to hijack the process but overall it was a democratic mo- movement that that's perhaps the reason why the government had to take a step back what is international cooperative alliance it, it was formed in uh, 1995 uh, by various um, uh, it was formed as essentially different cooperative movements that uh, at um, by 95 cooperative movements had evolved in various countries i mean they were at various stages and it was thought that we should have some benchmarks global benchmarks by which we can access, assess the f- performance and functioning of these cooperatives and that's why international cooperative alliance came into form sajad saab uh why have you switched from engineering to uh, sociology uh, ma'am it was a tactical decision on my part a i was very interested in humanities from the very outset and second uh, sociology happens to be one of the scoring subjects when it comes to uh, optionals in civil service exam so uh, these were the two main considerations that i took sociology okay uh who is your favorite blogger my there are and there are many vloggers i fo- i follow you're talking about kashmir or uh, in ge- in kashmir. general okay. in general i like to read uh, blogs of sri rajiv mohan i follow him i also read blogs of uh, sukhmdi kaur uh, in kashmir i follow some blogs uh, there are uh, shahid It's, it's my friend who writes some blogs very good blogs about kashmir kashmir and the current scenario so i follow him okay uh, which is the recent book that you have read uh, ma'am the recent book i have read is india's world it's by uh, dr s j shankar uh, yes ma'am india's world i mean it tends to redefine indian foreign policy and gives us a glimpse of how the current dispensation looks at foreign policy and the uh, the world view that it has about about the foreign policy uh, sajad can you uh, briefly elucidate uh, jnk self reliant cooperatives act just briefly uh, ma'am jnk self reliant uh, jnk and when what when was it formed and what are the brief objectives of this jnk self reliant reliant cooperatives act was formed in 1999 i guess ma'am uh, so uh, the objectives were to number one democratize democratize the movement number two it was to it was to bring it in sync with the existing laws that are there because uh, and it was also thought that we should have multi purpose cooperatives uh, this this act gives a thrust on multi multi purpose cooperatives um, so ma'am these were the three reasons why we enacted this act what was the major reason from shifting to the previous sect towards this sect uh, and what was the previous sect before 1998 uh, it was jammu and kashmir cooperative societies act 89 uh, ma'am 
main motivation was to facilitate multi purpose cooperatives and also to uh, evolve cooperatives from it should at start from the grassroots i mean they, it was generally believed that cooperatives are generally seen have an overarching government presence so it was thought that let's let's give cooperatives uh, a push by increasing their autonomy and um, and, fun and their functioning autonomy in their functioning so th that's why we came up with jammu and kashmir self reliant cooperatives act okay uh, do you believe that there was a monopoly of cooperatives earlier and now the trend has changed why is it so do you firstly believe in that ma'am uh, i think it's a natural progression that we, we are seeing that in our country as well as uh, in our state we are seeing that people are shifting from agriculture to other sectors if we look at the current uh, contribution towards income and towards economy of agric uh, agriculture no doubt a, a large section of our population is engaged in agriculture 65% as per the last economic survey but it was also mentioned in niti aayog report that cooperative movement as it stands in india um, it's not in sync with the current realities of the time because agricultural people are shifting from agriculture to other uh, other sectors predominantly if uh, and if surveys are various surveys are conducted across india uh, and farmers are being asked the question that if, if they want to continue in, in the farming sector the overwhelming opinion is that they don't want their children or uh, or the coming generations to continue in the same uh, same field because uh, the productivity of uh, productivity and income levels of, of agriculture are decreasing in india that's why it was believed that we should uh, there, there was this thrust towards doubling the farmers income it was a thrust and cooperatives were supposed to play a major role uh, when uh, uh, this slogan was rolled out but uh, i think we need new age cooperatives i uh, cooperatives are predominantly right now as we stand they are mostly in uh, agricultural sector dairy sector but we need to we need them to diversify there is concept of uh, new age cooperatives is there, there wherein Uh, wherein entrepreneurship uh, entrepreneurs are facilitated facilitated at the cooperative level so we need such in, uh, instruments i mean to say we need to reform cooperatives we need to diversify their functioning and they should not be restricted just to uh, just to agricultural system, uh, system. and there are also there, there are also special variations i mean uh, if we look at uh, uh, the cooperative movement in kashmir it it is considered to be least among the least developed cooperative movements in our country right now because uh, developed ones like maharashtra uh, haryana and other states they are way ahead when it comes to cooperatives but our state i think cooperative movement has suffered a lot uh, we need, if we need to revamp it we need to revamp it looking at the current demands of the time and uh, Yes, ma'am. Looking at the current scenario that we are, uh, we are in. Okay. Um, there was an amendment in the Self-Reliant Cooperatives Act under which uh, there are two sectors which can be registered and facilitated under 1989. Can you name those two sectors? Uh, ma'am, uh, if my memory serves me right, it was pol poultry and uh, it was dairy. I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Thank you. two questions quickly since we are you now running out of time because so many students are yes, also yes. waiting outside you have mentioned foreign policy also one of your hobby isn't it foreign interest, policy sir, interesting foreign interesting. policy and ir yes. what are the determinants of foreign policy so determinants of foreign policy for any particular nation yes sir yes sir so there are many determinants of foreign policy number one is our national interest I mean, what do we as one, a state? One, okay, national interest. Don't stretch it too long. Yes, sir. Yes, enumerate. Determinants. Number one is national interest. What do we see? How do we see see ourselves as a nation? Number uh, number two is economics. Eco uh, uh, where do we see our foreign policy meeting our economic objectives? Number three is uh, um, military. 
Military, military is also a major component of foreign pol policy uh, uh, discourses. Number four is soft power, a uh, soft power, and number fifth is the technology, right? Resource and technology. Okay. Yes, sir. What's what's Punch Shield Agreement? Punch Shield uh, Punch Shield Agreement, sir. It was uh, it was an agreement that was signed between uh, Prime Minister Nehru and uh, Mazid. Uh, Why the name Punch Shield? Because there were five uh, five, five, pillars. Pil five pillars of uh, five pillars that were to govern our. What engagement. are those five pillars? Number one, mutual uh, uh, coexistence. Good. Number two, non-interference in each other's uh, 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 e each other's uh, internal internal matters. Interference. N number okay. three was peace. Non-aggression. Okay. Yes, Fair sir. enough. If you are posted in uh, say, and you are from district Bandipur. Yes, sir. You are then hopefully if you are selected, then you are asked to you know. Uh, join at some other district, far flung district. Yes, sir. We, uh, will you be uh, willing to join the? Sure, sir. Sure. Why not? Okay. Sure. Which Dugra ruler made primary primary education compulsory? Uh, sir, it was um, Mahara um, um, Pratap Singh, Maharaja Pratap Singh. Yes, Sheikh Kabla took over reign as of JNK yes, in nineteen seventy-five. In what capacity? Prime Minister or Chief Minister? 1975. Hmm. So, as Chief Minister, sir. Who was last Prime Minister of Kashmir, JNK? Uh, last Prime Minister, Bakshi Ungulam uh, 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 Sad. Uh, sir, I'll, I'll read upon it. I'll read, I'll read upon it. Can you name some uh, pre independence committees that were formed? Pre independence co uh, committees. So number one was Nicol in, 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 in Nicholson uh, uh, co committee. Uh, before that, we had. Uh, so I'll have to read about it. What is Sakar se samriddhi? Sakar se samriddhi. Sahakar Sahakar se samriddhi. Sahakar means business and entrepreneurship. Uh, entrepreneurship. Samriddhi means uh, prosperity, general prosperity. So it's believed that so it's a thrust towards entrepreneurship. Is it, sir? Okay. Uh, what is the prime minister's vision for cooperatives? So <coughs> co prime minister's vision, corporate. He sees co cooperatives as so central. What is the vision? What is the phrase he uses? For cooperatives, uh, so I'm sorry, I don't know. Okay, uh, who is the current DR uh, mm. Bandipura? Deputy Registrar, ma'am, I haven't checked it. Either. Okay, what's the vision statement of the cooperatives? As you mentioned, you said it, Sahakar or something. Can you just uh, explain it? Not explain, just there's a specific meaning attached to it. Sahakar means say something. There's a prosperity through cooperation. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, who is the minister of cooperation? Mr. At state level. At state level. Yes. State level, we don't have a ministry. But then who is no, who is in charge at the uh, moment? Uh, ROC, sir, it's um, uh, uh, advisor to uh, 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 governor. Yes. Um, so he's in. Who is he? Uh, uh, I don't recall, sir. Secretary of Cooperatives? Is Isha Mughal. She's an IS officer, Isha Mughal. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Now coming to your feedback. Yes. See, first of all, your answers are very, they are very much lengthy. You have, you need to be precise in your answer. Yes. The more you are going to stretch your answer, more they are going to catch up on you because they will be picking up, you know, from your words, whatever yes. you are going to speak in front of the panel. Yes, sir. And then usage of words like I think, do avoid them, you know. Yes, sir. Skip these, you know, usage of these words. I think probably you have to be sure, not sure, sure in yes, your sir. answer. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then yes, your sting posture. Abhi bhi dekh lijiye. Aap aapka sting posture hai. It's a bit like this. Yes, this means you know you are not confident. Thoda nervousness mein ho aap. Yes. Or agar aap piche bhi chale jaate ho, this is overconfidence. Yeah, exactly. I should say. Your sting posture should be erect one. Na, yes, theek. Yes, sir. Theek hai. Haan. Thoda sa piche. Lekin zyada bhi nahi jana piche. Okay. Zyada agar piche chalenge to overconfidence. Aage aage to underconfidence. Yes, sir. Normal sting posture mein. Theek hai. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You said in you yes you have you know mentioned so many hobbies 
in your this resume yes sir. they are going either you have to be very much you know they're strong in these areas otherwise do limit them to two or three hobbies kyunki jitna zyada hobbies mein likhoge na utna zyada fir aapko pata bhi hona chahiye koi likh deta hai hobby mein rti activist rti activist mein aapko throughout the world history bata denge you know iski yes, information ki rti ka jo hota hai so if you if possible do limit them to two or three theek yes, hai Sociology आप आप एम ए कर रहे हैं बिकॉज इट इज स्कोरिंग सब्जेक्ट एन यू पी एस सी और जे के पी एस सी डोंट से दैट इट स्कोरिंग ठीक है से इट्स बिकॉज ऑफ यूर इंटरेस्ट एंड ऑल दैट ठीक है इसके बारे में पता है मैं जानना चाहता हूँ सोसाइटी के बारे में दिस शुड नॉट बी दंसर एंड यूर रिप्लाई टू दिस सेक्रेटरी कोऑपरेटिव इट्स याशा मुदगल याशा तो नाम जो होंगे ना दे शुड पूरे अच्छे से आपने आपको जानने चाहिए कि नाम क्या है डोंट मिस प्रोनाउंस देम एंड देन यूज यू कैन यूज श्रीमती एज वेल इन ऑर्डर टू यू नो शो सम सॉर्ट ऑफ रेस्पेक्ट टूवर्ड्स दैट यू नो दैट पर्टिकुलर चेयर ठीक है आपका लेंथ ही है बहुत ज्यादा Yes, and history. try to improve general knowledge yes sir history thoda padhna padega sir that thank you sir thank you poster jab bhi aap andar aa rahe the to aap jhuk ke andar aa rahe the so that was not good really was a no acha nahi raha secondly aapne good morning bola aur bhi afternoon ho chuka tha usko third aapne jkpsc mains ke bare mein kaha jkpsc ka kaun sa mains usko bahut sara mains hote hain so you have to precise ki aap kis civil service exam civil service exam should i mention it i mean If you want it, it's your choice. You can, you can, you know. Uh, you can you mention, can. but uh, you have to be precise. J K P S C का कौन सा मिल? Then, sir, आपको सवाल पूछ रहे थे और आपने sir को टोक दिया. आपने आपने पूरा sir को पूरा complete करने नहीं दिया. बीच में बात करी. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So that that just came out. I said, I'm so sorry. So I'm no, Rari, I said कुछ नहीं. Rina, हाँ हाँ sir, आप बोली. Totally don't stick to the question. आप बहुत ज़्यादा उसमें तो stretch कर रहे थे. चले जाते हैं बाहर. Communication आपकी अच्छी है. Face expression पे work करना है. ठीक है और आपकी लेग मूवमेंट भी अभी सही नहीं है ठीक है सो यू हैव टू बी ये मैं बैठूं कैसे मतलब टू बी ऑनेस्ट ऐसे नहीं है सर ये मतलब क्रॉस लेग मैंने सर क्रॉस लेग पढ़ा था तो नो 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 क्रॉस लेग अगर आप हाथ रखेंगे ना ऐसे ही ऐसे भी ठीक है ऐसे नहीं रखना ये होता है टेंशन स्ट्रेस में परफेक्ट पोस्टर ऐसे रहना आपने हैंड मूवमेंट यूज किया है 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 भी 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 नहीं नहीं करना 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 शुड बी लिमिटेड माइनर थिंग्स ऐसे ऐसे जस्ट कॉन्फिडेंट कॉन्फिडेंट यू शुड बाकी आपको नहीं आता था यूर ऑनेस्ट बाकी बेस्ट ऑफ थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर